Hey guys, so on my travels, I found something very interesting I have not tried ever. It is called apple maple bacon jam. Look at this. That looks so intriguing. Now, I love bacon and I like jam and I said, why not? So this is so, <laughs> when I picked it up, my <laughs> my family member says, so basically you're picking up uh, bacon grease. I said, I hope not. <laughs> so it's from Terrapin Ridge uh, Farms and it says flavored with real bacon. And I'm looking so forward to trying this. So I've not opened that at all. I also have a, pe a couple of pieces. I don't want to drop it, but I have a couple pieces of Gouda. So we're going to try it on its own first. And then we're going to try it on Gouda right afterwards. So let's, let's give it a go. I've had it up. For a while, oh, I just, it just like opened right up. Like no seals. No seals or nothing. I am disturbed. But let's, let's try it. That's what it looks like. I am thinking about bacon fat. I don't like it's been tampered with at all, which is good. It's nice and smooth. Nothing been, nobody put their, their thumb in it. Um, Let's smell it. The... Oh, this reminds me of those weird sodas that I bought, those bacon flavored soda. This, okay. Okay, it's a, it smells like the main flavor is definitely maple, but then the bacon sneaks up behind you. He's like this, he waiting. Like you smell some of the maple like, mm, and you go, oh, there's the bacon. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's got some bacon grease action happening. There's some bacon grease action. There's some action happening. So let's try it by itself. And then we're going to try with the Gouda. So I got my little spoon. That's what it looks like. It is definitely a jam. It looks like those are pieces of bacon inside of it. Like little chunkies. And it says refrigerate after opening. So I got to make sure to do that. But yeah, let's take a look. That looks like little chunky pieces of bacon. Inside of the jam. So let's try. I'm actually a little nervous. Mm-hmm. Very strong. Should it burn? Wow. Why is it burning? Okay, so whew. It first like got spice in it. Why are you spicy? It says the blend of flavors include apples, cinnamon maple butter and bacon so why is is it it's very spicy i don't understand the spice i'm trying to find where's the spiciness at because it contains milk that's it um citric acid water apple juice unsalted butter bacon culinary celery salt lemon Pecked in. I'm not seeing where the spice is coming from. I wonder if this is a weird batch. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is super spicy. It's so spicy. It feels like it's got, like, hot peppers in it. I'm also seeing like, little bits of, like, plant life in it. Like, I wonder if they, they, made, they marketed it as uh, maple bacon jam. But I'm tasting a lot of spice. Um, it's super strong. Like, really, really, really strong. And... It's, I'm going to say it's on cheese. It's very spicy. I don't get the spicy part. Um, so, I got, it's definitely a little piece of bacon. It's tons of little pieces of bacon inside of it. If it wasn't spicy, it'd be kind of good. It's very sweet, too. Extremely sweet. Like, really sweet. So, let's try it on a piece of cheese. Okay, so let's try it on the cheese. Not going to put too much on there. This is my favorite cheese. Well, it's one of my favorite cheeses, which is Gouda. I also love Brie, but this is the Gouda cheese. Looks pretty good. So we got it. Like a cute little hors d'oeuvre. That's what it looks like. So let's try our maple bacon jam on Gouda cheese. Mm. 
them mixed together is good. Okay, so let's go into this. The smokiness and the spiciness, because it's spicy, of the jam mixed with the smokiness of the cheese, it, like it needed that strength. Because you can't eat it on its own. Like, don't, don't put this on bread. It's, you can't eat this on its own. But with cheese, that's good. The smokiness of the Gouda with the smoked bacon and the, the really intense flavors of the jam and the maple that goes really well with cheese that that went if they it balanced that that nice protein of the cheese grabbed all that strength in the jam and like put it down they, they balanced themselves like they but like, they just balanced themselves perfectly that was good it needs to go on some on top of something you can't eat it by itself that needs something i wish they listed what makes it so spicy that's the only thing i wish they would have on here but it's good i don't get another one this would be really fun to eat as a hors d'oeuvre, like in a party. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah, it's basically it, guys. It's addictive. I like it. Tell me the kinds of y'all ever tried. Uh, apple maple bacon jam. So I'll talk to y'all guys later. No, it's not bacon grease. It tastes actually real pieces of bacon. And like the jam part, I think it's the maple and the apple was turned into a jam. And the bacon, maybe with a little bit of grease, was put into the jam and mixed in with it. So, it's actually very good. Okay, guys. Bye. I'm gonna probably eat some more of this before I put it in the refrigerator. It's actually really addictive. Okay. Bye. <laughs>